let us see what these questions on percentage have to offer us. So if 120 is 20% of a number, then 120% of that number will be. So let this number be x. So we have 120 as the 20% of this number. So we can write 20 upon 100, that is the 20% of this number x is equal to 120. Therefore, I can say that x is equal to 120 times 10 by 2. And 120 by 2 gives you 60 and x is equal to 600. Now, we have been asked 120% of this number. So 120% of this number will be equal to 120 upon 100 times this number which is 600 times 600 and that is equal to I can I cancel out the zeros so 120 times 6 and that is 720 so the answer is option D The difference between a number and its two-fifth is 510. What is 10% of that number? Now let this number be x. So the difference between this number and its two-fifth is 510. So we have this number as x. So the difference is x minus two-fifth of x. So 2 by 5 x is equals to 510. So is equal to 510. Let us solve this. We have 5x minus 2x upon 5 is equals to 510. So 3x by 5 is equal to 510. And therefore x is equal to 510 times 5 divided by 3. And 510 is divisible by 3. So I get 3 ones are 3. 3 Again, 1's are 3 and uh, 3 7's are 21 and this 0. So 170 times 5 is x. So it is equal to 170 times 5. Let us keep it as it is. Let's see what else is there. So what is 10% of this number? So we have 10% of x and this is what we have to find. So it is equal to 10 upon 100 times this x and this x is 170 times 5. So 170 times 5. Now this 0 and this 0 get cancelled out and this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. So this is equal to 17 times 5 is 85. So we have the answer option B. If 35% of a number is 12 less than 50% of that number, then this number is. So let this number be x. And we have 35% of this number. So I have 35 upon 100 times x. It is 12 less than 50% of that number. So it is equal to the 50% of that number minus 12. So 50 upon 100 times x minus 12. I can put this 35x upon 100 to the right hand side and this minus 12 to the left hand side. So I get 12 is equals to 50x upon 100 minus 35x upon 100. So it is equals to the denominator is common so denominator is 100 50 minus 35 is 15. So I write 15x is equal to 12. So therefore, x is equal to 12 times 100 divided by 15. Let's divide the numerator and denominator by 3. So 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. Now 5 1s are 5 and 5 20 is 100. So x is equal to 4 times 20 which is 80. So we have the answer as option D. The number which exceeds 16% of it by 42 is. Let this number be x. So this number exceeds 16% of it by 42. So this number is equal to 
16 percent of it plus 42. So 16 upon 100 x plus 42. So I can write this singular x as 100 x upon 100 and let us take this 16 upon 100 to the left hand side. So minus 16 x upon 100 is equals to 42. So 100 x minus 16 x is equal to 84 x divided by 100 is equal to 42. So therefore x is equal to 42 times 100 by 84 and 42 times 2 is 84 and that is equal to 100 divided by 2 and that is 50. So this number is 50. Let us jump to the last question now. What percentage of numbers from 1 to 70 have squares that end in the digit 1? Well, let us list the numbers from 1 to 10 and their squares. So these are the numbers from 1 to 10 and their squares. So how many numbers from 1 to 10 have their squares that end with digit 1? So we have one square as 1 which ends with the digit 1 and we have 9 square is equal to 81 which ends with 1. So from 1 to 10 I have two numbers who have their squares with 1 as their units place. So from 1 to 70 I have 70 numbers and if I divide these all of these numbers in groups of 10 I will have 7 groups. And in each group I have two numbers which end with the digit 1 whose square end with the digit 1. So for 7 groups I will have 14 numbers in all. So 14 numbers have squares that end with digit 1 and these numbers range from 1 to 70. So we have to calculate the percentage of these numbers. So we have 14 numbers out of 70 and we got the fraction so the percentage will be multiplied by 100 so this is equal to 7 times 2 is 14 and 2 times 10 is 20 so 20 percent of the numbers have squares that end with digit 1 if we take the range from 1 to 70 so we have the answer as option c